Hello guys, I did send this file last week to the Dropbox, uh, it's called Templates. What I did, I created some 2x lumber dimensions, uh, starting at 2x4 all the way to 2x12s. And I created them in different lengths, from 8 foot all the way up to 20 foot. Of course you can change these dimensions either in length or in width. I also created some braces, um, you can use for your pergolas or porches. And I started with a 2 foot square all the way up to a 3 foot square since that was the most common and I also created some profiles for your tail ends when you, you design a pergola um, I only have a few here but of course there are hundreds of them out there and you can modify these as you wish also I will go into an, another video um, to show you how to do this since it's a more advanced thing to do I also uh, created some footings, some squares and some in diameter and some typical lumber dimensions all the way from 8 to 8 to 4 by 4s and 4 by 6s let me go to the perspective and I'll show you how to do a pose as a sample let me grab for example this post here I'll copy and I'll make a copy of it and put it to the side since I want to keep the original this file if I do need something out of this file I'll just highlight these and copy and paste it into my design as you can see this is a tapered footing but of course you can change this easily the radius 1 is the bottom of the footing and the radius 2 is the top of the footing <coughs> and as you can see the height is 10 inches if I don't like this tapered footing then I can bring this back to 1 foot and <coughs> now I do have a 10 inch by 16 inch diameter footing if I do need a post for example here a 4x4 post I can grab it and put it in the center I can lift it up let me get a little closer I can hold my control key and change the, the elevation of this post so right now this looks pretty good and if I like what I see maybe I would like to change the height a little bit say right now it's 4 foot let's bring that back to 3 foot and if this is what you want then I'm going to hold my shift key and I'm going to grab the footing as well I right click and I group it now I have something I'm ready for to put in my deck if I do design a deck in almost all cases the beam and the post size is not where I want it so I'll change <coughs> I'll delete that and then I'll bring this post and footing into the design and put it in the place where I want it so the templates here for the tail lens and the braces I'll put a, bring that in, in the next video um, I'll show you how to make these changes and the 2 by lumber if you want to make any changes it's very self-explainable uh, for example this 8 foot by 2 by 12 I can change it in the length easily or I can change the thickness of it or I can change the height of it <coughs> so if there is something you don't see here then of course you have that option to change that hope you enjoyed this video this is my first video so it's probably not perfect but I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in my next video thank you